Welcome back to IndianTimesDaily.com and the top 10 headlines from Canada are Canada should expect a massive influx of Haitians attempting to enter the country from the US in light of the decision to end the temporary protection. Transport Minister Mark Garneau said that his government had the situation under control and they were not worried about the decision. Quebec's finance minister has announced personal income tax cuts and increased funds for health and education. A family of two adults and two children that earn $88,000 a year will see a tax reduction of $1,200, which includes the abolition of a health fee. The Health Canada has offered hints about the government's plan for legal pot. The regulations, among other things, would limit colours and graphics on cannabis packs and establish a system to trace pot through the distribution system. The NAFTA negotiators have prepared to leave Mexico City with all key issues still deadlocked as the talks have wrapped up. Foreign Affairs Minister Christian Freeland said that there were some areas where the US put forward extreme proposals which couldn't be agreed to. Quebec and California's latest joint cap and trade auction has sold out, weeks before Ontario is set to become part of that market. Experts have said that strong sales of future credit showed confidence in the longevity of the market. Toronto has been considering changing the language used to describe services for the homeless as part of a broader overall for its shelter system. However, some critics said that Toronto's rebranding efforts might not do much to improve public perceptions of shelters and those who use them. The Royal Military College of Canada has taken another blow to its reputation from the Federal Auditor General Michael Ferguson. He said that it costs almost twice as much to educate and train aspiring officers at the college as it does to send them through a civilian university. The federal government's chronic salary struggles will take more than $540 million projected to fix the snafu-stricken Phoenix public service pay system. The Liberals will provide a full and detailed cost estimate to fix the system, but not until next May. The Liberal government is struggling to track the impact of its historic effort to resettle upward of 40,000 Syrian refugees. Markers like how many kids are in school or how many Syrians are on income assistance weren't being measured between fall 2015 and the spring of this year. An Ontario university has apologized to a teaching assistant who was severely chastised for airing a clip of a debate featuring a controversial figure. The school is proceeding with a third-party investigation into the dispute with graduate student Lindsay Sheffer. This is the end of the news bulletin, but stay tuned to IndianTimesDaily.com as news from Bollywood is coming up next. And do visit the resources section on this portal to find the best in your Canadian businesses and resources, from accounting firms to wedding planners in your city. All of us at Indian Times Daily wish that you have a great day.